Good morning, fellows. This is Vince Miller. Thank you so much for joining me for this devotional. Today we're in Daniel chapter 4. I'm going to read verses 4 through 7. Uh, at this point in the story, it seems like Nebuchadnezzar is narrating the story. So here's what he says. I, Nebuchadnezzar, was at ease in my house, uh, prospering in my palace. So he's chilling on the couch or something like that, maybe watching some Netflix. And I saw a dream that made me afraid. So suddenly a change. As I lay in bed, the fancies and the visions of my head alarmed me. So I made a decree that all the wise men of Babylon should be brought before me that they might Make known to me the interpretation of the dream. Then the magicians and the enchanters and the Chaldeans and the astrologers came in. and I told them the dream, but they could not make known to me its interpretation. So in this situation here, the, the king moves suddenly uh, from ease to terror. <laughs> the text is actually pretty dramatic. In one verse, he's in one state. And in the next, well, he's a terrified man. And again, we see what it is that terrifies him. It's a dream that causes him to panic. Fellas, you need to know this. God can reach any man. There is no man who is out of the reach of God. God can reach the most stubborn, immovable, arrogant, and resistant man out there. He can get to them inside the confines of their fortress, protected by soldiers and surrounded by puppet politicians. He can even penetrate the mind of mortal man with things like dreams and, and visions and images and nightmares. And he can do this at any time and anywhere. And when he wants to get a man's attention, he will. In fact, if you turn back to the New Testament alone, he, he did this with people who are military commanders like Cornelius and simple followers like Ananias and influential religious zealots like Paul and even disciples like Peter. But right here in this text, he reaches into the mind of the world's richest and most powerful monarch. So, guys, today you might know someone like this, someone who's as stubborn as Nebuchadnezzar. And there is a simple and very cautious prayer you might pray that God would actually awaken their mind to him with a dream straight from God. Sometimes this might be the only way to reach those men around us who are unreachable. I love you guys. I pray this blesses you today. Steward this with care. And with that, I'll see you right back here again.